the app and the navigation just works so much better. If your floor has any texture, that's not gonna work well. I got the black one, which I sometimes regret. I love that it has very, very quiet drying mode. So when it's drying, it's not a problem for me at all. Self-emptying on this thing is so powerful that my dustbin in this rubber is spotless. It looks brand new. Use this AI to set up no-go zones. So it actually did for me. I love that. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, these are just like transparent beads. And I just put ooh, a few. Hi everyone, I'm super excited about today's video. I'm gonna be doing an updated review on my Q Revo that I've been using for many months now. And I actually should have made the review before Black Friday because they had a sale. Basically, it was the same price as I paid for it. But I've been seeing it on sale still so it's it's pretty good time to buy it i've been using it for so long that i feel like i've tested it very thoroughly i also tested different cleaning products with it so i can tell you which one i personally feel like it worked the best because i'm not sure if you know but roborock actually has a floor cleaner that you can use with robot vacuums so even though i know that a lot of people online say you shouldn't be using any floor cleaner in your roborock robot vacuums you can so <laughs> surprise it is actually possible and i had this robot vacuum for mm -hmm, over like five months let me see i can tell you exactly how long i've been running it for because i have cleaning history so i can tell you exactly okay so over 200 cycles with this machine almost a hundred hours of cleaning with this machine and almost 5,000 square meters this machine covered so yeah i've been running it a lot i've been running it in different modes such as vacuuming and mopping at the same time as well as deep clean where you vacuum first and then i use the deep clean plus mopping setting which i <laughs> like a lot not gonna lie basically what i do currently vacuum and mop my floors every single day i live in the city i have a dog and it, honestly, I can't imagine a not vacuuming every single day because my dog has allergies and he sheds a lot. So it's very important for me to keep my apartment clean. And uh, yeah, my floors are super clean. I'm not afraid to walk in my white socks here white socks on my floor here even though like i keep my windows open there's a lot of dust coming in i do use an air purifier it's a blue air purifier i believe i'm gonna link it down below it's it's a great purifier i had it for like over a year now and it really works it helps with dust even though i have the windows open currently but it helps still so i'm using the vacuum and mop setting every single day a part of saturday or sunday on the weekend whenever i plan to be out for more than an hour uh, i turn on the vacuum and then deep clean basically here i have it in my roborock app i, I basically have two settings that are on the top of the screen here and by the way i still love this app here i have routines which you can set it up you can customize it i love that uh, so i have vac followed mopping which i use only once a week and then i have full cleaning and i've noticed one thing with the mopping which i was honestly disappointed with because what happened is my rubber rock s7 was dragging those dirty mopping pads all over my apartment and because i live in a very busy area anytime I, I i keep my shoes over there so i walk in this apartment with my shoes on and then i take them off and unfortunately the aerobarca 7 would only use one mopping pad the robot wouldn't clean it so that dirty mopping cloth would be basically running all over my apartment and i didn't realize that actually it made my floors dirtier yes uh, so what happened is i have vinyl floors here that have a lot of crevices i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm talking about i can even record it right now i'm looking at this floor right now and i hate it it is a rented apartment uh, but you can see a ton of little crevices there is just it, it they try to make this vinyl floor look like real wood so it just it has a lot of little areas where the dirt can really get in and then stay and unfortunately unless you use a scrubbing brush you can get that dirt 
out. So what happened with the Roborock S7 is, first of all, the robot didn't clean the mopping pads, so the mop was running the mop, the dirty mopping pads all over my apartment and was also like massaging it in into those crevices uh, because it has the sonic technology to get rid of dirt, but that doesn't work on floors with crevices. So if you don't have just smooth floors, like if your floor has any crevices, have any texture, unfortunately, that's not gonna work well. I did find a solution for it, something that works with Curivo and Curivo is just superior compared to all the other robot vacuums that don't have the self washing mopping stations. I just, I can't imagine using a robot without a station anymore. It just, it's, it just doesn't work for me because I've seen how dirty the floor can get. So what I did before I got the Curivo, I bought a scrubber and I literally scrub my whole entire floor. Unfortunately, there were some spots under furniture which I couldn't get and my rubber rock can get to those places and what happened is it started to spread that dirt from those places that I didn't get to scrub to areas that were previously scrubbed. So I can see the floor is getting dirty in my living room. Nowhere else, just here. I just have a lot of furniture here, which I didn't get to scrub underneath. So it's the just spreading that dirt. But what I did is basically I separated areas in my living room. Here you can see on this map. So here is my living room and I just separated in two parts. I could even like separate it maybe even in three parts and anytime the robot is done with one section like the yellow section it goes back to the station to clean the mopping pads and I've noticed that it's definitely starting to look better I probably will have to scrub those floors at some point because the robot is just doesn't have the scrubbing pads and it took me forever to scrub those floors I had to use steamer, I had to use cleaning products to really like hold the scrubber in one place and wait for it to like do, do its work. It's very hard to actually clean those floors. So it's a problem specific to my floors. If you have smooth floors at my previous home where I used the Rob Rock, I just had smooth floors. There was no texture on it, no crevices. So the Rob Rock was fine. Uh, the floor wasn't really dirty, but if you have or like me it just doesn't work that well because the robot is using force to put pressure on the floor and scrub it and that is great when you have any spills it just doesn't work well if you have already some dirt on the floor and the robot is just massaging it in that just doesn't work that will make your floors even dirtier so that's a big con that I've noticed with my Rob Rock. Unfortunately, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. It did. So I'm looking for another solution that would basically help to deep clean these floors without me scrubbing it manually. I didn't find it yet, but if I do, I will share it with you. A part of it, I got a ton of questions on my previous video and you are mostly asking me like, how is it now? Is it still working fine? What do I think about it? And when it comes to Roborock, I've tested some other robot vacuums as since I got this one. Some of the robot vacuums that I've tested had some other features that are not available on the Curivo, like a uh, hot self-washing mopping station. This vacuum doesn't have it, but for this price, you just can't be this price. Like if you want all the other extra features, you have to pay more. So I would say this is still the best deal out there because it has the self-washing station. It has auto emptying, which I love. Let me show you. I had it for a few months now and it's still, it's still, there's still room in it. I probably will have to change it soon. The only thing which I would say is small problem with it is that it does smell. So I obviously didn't have that issue with the Rob Rock 7 because anytime after, you know, the robot would vacuum, I would empty dustbin. I don't do it with this robot, so this stinks like my dog because like it obviously the majority of this is his fur and it smells. So what I do, because I actually fixed that problem. Here I have my drawer with all the accessories for my Roborock. I have bags and filters. I love that. I'm gonna link, I bought it on Amazon, it's great. I already changed the, the filter and I'm very happy with it. 
So what happens is that I only smell this dust bag anytime the robot self empties. So the thing that helped me are these natural remove auto removing vacuum beads. So I put these also in my Dyson, which also stinks anytime I vacuum the couch that my puppy currently sits on. It was the same smell, which I did not like. So this I add to my vacuum, Dyson vacuum right here to the, basically the dustbin. And as well as my baggie here, because the vacuum when it runs, it doesn't smell. I gotta say the powerful self emptying on this thing is so powerful that my dustbin in this rubber rock is spotless it looks brand new like i'm impressed i don't know how but i guess the, it's so the section is so powerful that it gets all the dust out and it looks stunning so i love that because usually we just get dirty and you could tell like you know ugh, i gotta wash the dustbin nope yeah so what i do i open this thing up and I just put these, I don't want to spill, not sure if you can see. Yeah, these are just like transparent beads. And I just put ooh, a few. You don't want to drop them all over because you don't want your dog to eat it. That's enough to find the one that I lost. And then after I put some beads in, I close it. And that usually lasts a pretty good time. I don't need to refill it like all the time. Uh, last time I did it, I only did it once, like, two months ago but I start to notice that it start to smell again so I'm putting it back in okay nice pretty straightforward very easy maintenance on this I love it I'm gonna link these vacuum beads uh, in the description below uh, they were pretty cheap like less than ten dollars I think and they obviously last forever I still have a full uh, bottle even though I've been using it with my Dyson vacuum and the Rob Rock. so very good purchase it smells like peppermint smells very fresh and natural which I like if you're husband doesn't like perfume smell this smells natural he doesn't complain okay so after testing some other robot vacuums since i got this one uh, like i mentioned i tested the narwhal which was quieter than the curivo but curivo is still much quieter than roborock s7 which i had for for years and i love that i really do because i hate noise and I like to vacuum, use this robot vacuum whenever I'm at home, if I want to just like spot clean something, I want to be able to do it when I'm watching TV, when I'm talking to people. So I don't want the noise to be so distracting that I can't use the robot vacuum when I'm at home. So this is much better. It's an improvement from the previous robot vacuums that Roborock had. So I'm really happy that they are working on it. Narwhal was still quieter, but I do prefer the Curivo. I am gonna prepare a comparison between Narwhal and Curivo, and I'm gonna basically talk in depth why. <laughs> but since I got the Curivo, I also got the Ecovax. I don't know if there's any other robot vacuum out there that, I oh, Yuffie, I didn't test that one yet. But yeah, I've tested a lot. And this one is much quieter than the Ecovax T20 Omni. I was impressed because like T20 Omni is much more expensive than this one and this one is much quieter. So I gotta say, I do appreciate the, the Curivo even more after testing some more expensive robot vacuums. There are a few things that I've noticed with the Curivo. Like obviously I do still believe that it's a very high quality robot vacuum. Like compared to some other robot vacuums that I tested, the Roborock still, I would say it's number one when it comes to the quality, when I see it, when I work with it, I can tell it's much higher quality than some other robot vacuums that I've tested. It just, it shows. And that's why I feel like it's gonna last much longer than some other robot vacuums because I can tell it's just much higher quality, even though it's cheaper than some of the other robot vacuums. So the only thing that I've noticed that is kind of a pain in the ass is cleaning this thing. So a part of, the dust that, you know, it collects. Like, that works great. The dust bin is always sparkling clean. Uh, the suction power is amazing. No issue with that, but the mopping. Uh, with the mopping, I had awful, awful issues with my narwhal. That thing would get so nasty. It was the worst thing to clean. So this is still much better when it comes to cleaning it. Like, there is a bin that you can remove and scrub it, but, it has a lot of elements that make it hard to clean. So I actually had to get 
a separate brush to clean it and also Q-tip because there are some elements that are like you can't really get with the scrubbing brush. You need a very small, tiny Q-tip to clean it. So you will need a few things to clean the, basically the tray, the self washing station tray. That's what you call it, I think. You have to clean it regularly. I do it at least once a week because I do run my vacuum a lot and I mop every day too. It usually does like five or six washing cycles. That means that it uses a lot of water and it cleans a lot. And there's a lot of dirt. Like anytime I clean this thing, it's nasty. So it works, you know, it takes that dirt off my floor and puts it in this now empty because I just cleaned it bin. I wish this was transparent because that's one thing which other robot vacuums have. Like I can actually tell how dirty the water is. And with this thing, I can't tell. When I was using Ecovacs, when I was using Narwhal, I really liked that I was able to tell, okay, I just cleaned the floor, it's insanely dirty, let me run it again. With this thing, I can't tell. So that's one thing that I would say, it's a mild con that I can't tell how dirty the water is. I just wish the dirty water container was transparent. It's not that big of a deal, but I really wish I, <laughs> I would be able to tell. It's just a lot more satisfying when you can tell, okay, like, wow, this water is nasty. <laughs> well, it's not a big deal, honestly. It's just a preference, my preference. I just really enjoy like working with uh, the Narwhal robot vacuum and the Ecovax. Like I can tell how dirty that water is. So I like that, but it's just, it's just one thing. But there is one other con and it's anytime I lift those uh, water bins, they have those little connectors here, which obviously like put the water in a dirty bin compartment and also take the water from the clean water bin compartment. And they are made of rubber, but they are not like fully sealed, I guess. And anytime I lift those containers, uh, the water spills. So honestly, at first I was like wiping it with a cloth every single time I was refilling those bins. Now I just gave up on it. It's just an aesthetic thing. like. It's kind of annoying that the water spills and then I have to wipe it because it's dirty. There is a lot of water buildup inside of the robot vacuum because of it. I wouldn't say it's that big of a deal. I At first I thought that maybe it's affecting it, but I've been using it for months without like, cleaning it with the uh, microfiber cloth and it is what it is. At least you can see it from the outside. You can only see the dried water spots when you take it out. So I'm like, ah whatever but just something i feel like it is a design flaw that roborock could address we will see if they do i just want to put it out there that it is an issue not a big issue but i didn't have that with ecovax i didn't have that with narwhal so obviously they were able to somehow correct that hopefully roborock will also fix that in the newer models so another thing which i really like about the curio is that this light and the light also on the robot vacuum only lights up when like for example the robot is running so it's not at the station or if i take out one of the bins and a part of it if the robot is fine the robot is happy like you know it's in the station charging this doesn't light up and i love that because all the other robot vacuums i don't know why they just the lights always have to be on you can obviously turn it off manually if you turn on the do not disturb mode but i don't want to do that i want to be able to see this light when there is an issue that just one one other pro i would say so this is the robot vacuum and i got the black one which I sometimes regret because you can see all the little dust, all the little like dirt and like you can even see my dog spit on it and I cleaned it like last week uh, with an all-purpose spray but it gets very dirty very easily. Uh, with the white one the only thing that it had black marks but on this one you can't see black marks because it's black so it is what it is but this is what it looks on the other side obviously this part with the mopping uh, it gets a little dirty like there's some line build up already here in some parts here you can barely see fortunately because i have hard water and i'm pretty sure a little bit of vinegar would help if i would just soak a little uh, microfiber cloth in the vinegar and i would just put on the spots it probably would remove them. If I would be using the distilled water, obviously that wouldn't happen, but 
since this robot is doing <laughs> six cycles every single day to wash the mopping station, uh, sorry, mopping pads, I use a ton of water to clean <laughs> this apartment. So it just, I just use regular water, it's fine. But yeah, these are the original <laughs> mopping pads that I've been using for for a long time and I think it's time to replace them. I did wash them a few times in the washer. They wash great and they smell very nice still and they are still fluffy and they still feel very high quality and they don't seem like ripped or like, you know, damaged. So I don't feel like I need to replace them even though they do advise to replace mopping pads every 50 to 60 cycles. So we will see so far. They just look still so good. With the narwhal ones, like I was ready to replace them in a month, which is insane. So these are very high quality. And this roller brush is amazing. It just, I love that it vacuums all the hair and it doesn't get really tangled. If it does, it's actually very easy to clean. Usually there's hair like build up here. So I just pull it out, it's done. If there's some more here, I can easily take it off. But surprisingly compared to Ecovax or even Roborca 7, it does much better job at uh, collecting all the hair in the, that's my dog making some noise. It does really good job at collecting all the hair. There's usually a lot in my apartment because, you know, so it's great. That was something I was looking forward to upgrade. Uh, the previous robot vacuums, they will be insanely tangled with hair. This robot vacuum, it's much better. I can even show you quickly. The dustbin, never washed it. It's very clean, as you can see. I don't feel like I need to wash it. Everything just clicks so well. Like, if you take these pads out, very easy to take Mop it out. Mount hmm? Mop mount installed. It, it feels so high quality. Like, with Ecovacs, like, you have to actually, like, really pull it. Anytime I take the mopping pads out of the Ecovacs, I feel like I'm damaging it. So I hate that. This is much, much better. It just feels higher quality. With the narwhal, it actually lost a mopping pad once. So this never happened with this vacuum. I guess the magnet is stronger, but it still allows you to take it out anytime you want. I also appreciate the very quiet self-drying. You can't hear it at all. You really have to like listen to hear it drying. And then I know, okay, so it's drying, it's great. And it also shows you in the in the app that it's self-drying, uh, but it's so quiet with the narwhal and Kovax. It was, it's louder than a Curievo, but I guess I would say the narwhal was the loudest when it comes to drying because it had this super dry mode, like a blow dryer mode. <laughs> it was, it was definitely louder, even though the vacuum when it was running was quieter. So interesting fact, but I love that this is much quieter and when it's drying. Oh, here is the culprit of all the mess in this apartment. Say hello. Just scrape my robot vacuum. Okay, he's gonna be sitting here, I guess. Okay, and one more thing which I've noticed randomly, this robot uses AI to set up no-go zone. So anytime, I guess it sees the zone that it just can't get to or it seem, <laughs> it seems like a threat, it actually sets up no-go zones and it tells you. So it actually did for me because there was a drop here. No, here. It says AI, I'm not sure if you can see it, but right there. So it set up a no-go zone because there was a little drop when there's like a sliding window and I guess the robot had a hard time getting out of that spot. So it set up an automatic no-go zone. I love that. I didn't even think about it, but the robot did. So the app and the navigation just works so much better. Like, I'm just so impressed. So in conclusion, I'm still insanely happy with this robot vacuum. I just love how well it works. I love how well it vacuums. I love how well it mops. I wish, you know, it would like deep clean my floors better, but it is a robot vacuum. They're just supposed to mop, not deep clean your floors, not a big deal. It would work much better if I would have smooth floors. So it's kind of personal issue here that I just have the floors that are not great. But a part of it, I really like that it is still quieter than a lot of auto robot vacuums on the market. I love that it has very, very quiet drying mode. So when it's drying for like two or three hours, it's not a problem for me at all. And when it comes to cleaning solutions, I've tested a lot, actually. I've tested the Roborock that it comes with. It's a great solution. You have to, it doesn't really have a lot of smell, which 
I like when the floor cleaners have a lot of smell. This one does not. It's very neutral. It was cleaning obviously better than without the solution. So it is available on Amazon. Like that's where I bought it, but it was kind of expensive for what it is. I think I paid like $17 for that cleaner and it's just a small bottle. So I'm like, not great, but if you're looking for something that will be safe to use with your robot vacuum, that's the only product that is out there. So I also tested some other cleaners that technically you should not be using with your robot vacuum. I've been testing it for a long time and it still works fine, but I wouldn't advise you to do that because technically they may break your robot vacuum. So the products that I've tested, vinegar, obviously diluted, like I only add like a splash to a whole cleaning bin. It obviously lowers the pH level, which usually like it's a good cleaning agent. It has that lower pH, so it's usually not a great thing to use in your robot vacuum. So I wouldn't advise to use vinegar. The other thing that I tried is the method floor cleaner, which I saw that someone else on YouTube was uh, using with the robot vacuum uh, successfully. It was fine. Like it added a little bit of scent, uh, but I wouldn't say that it like helped to clean floors. That would not much better and it had alcohol in it so uh, i decided to not use it and then i switched to raw raw cleaner because it just it didn't have the alcohol the only other similar product that i found that had very similar ingredients to the rubber rock uh, floor cleaner was the mayor's one but for some reason it would leave a nasty smell inside of a clean water bin so i stopped using it because like obviously if i use cleaner i want it to smell nice i don't want it to smell bad so i just stopped using it the rubber rock cleaner just worked better but the other thing which i also tried was pine salt and that thing smells very strongly it smells very nice and that smell definitely lingers Again, people don't advise to use it with any robot vacuums. I've been using it for a while. Like I just add a little bit. So maybe that's why it wasn't causing me issue. But again, I would stick with the Rob Rock cleaner. I wish it had more scent because I want my home to, like, you know, smell like it was freshly mopped. So I wish there was a product that you could safely use with your robot vacuum that would smell nice. Hmm. I will be looking for some alternatives. But yes, yeah, so far, I would say the Rob Rock floor cleaner and the Pine Sol just worked the best. But I'm just still not sure if, if it's safe to use the Pine Sol though. So stick with the Rob Rock cleaner or just use water. So that's your choice. That's all I think I wanted to mention in this video. Of course, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description. I'm gonna link these auto removing vacuum beads, also all the rubber rock Curevo accessories that I got for this vacuum that I've been using and they work great. And also the Rob Rock Curevo itself. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be in the description below. So don't forget to check it out. This way you can support my channel and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.